confused about projectors, what kind of projector you might need to project art, well, that's what this video is going to go, go into, and we're going to talk about a couple different kind of projectors, and we're going to explain what I think is the ideal projector for projecting art so that you guys can get an image transferred to a canvas or such very quickly. Okay, so what we have right here, and I've got this just temporary on a stand so that I can move around a lot because we'll do a few changes to show you guys. What I got here is, a, is pretty much a standard lower end 720p LED projector, but there are a lot of things that are pretty much the same with any LED projector. The image that I'm displaying right there, that is the smallest image that that projector is capable of producing. So I'm currently three foot off the wall. That is as close as this projector can focus on the picture. And then without doing any editing to this picture, the actual picture ends right here. The smallest image that I can focus is going to be a 20 and a half inch by, let's say 15 and a half inch picture. And so now I've got the projector pulled out a little over six foot away from the screen. Now, obviously you can get a short throw projector and that's a little bit different. Um, and that's a little over six foot away from the screen to get a picture here. That is, if you count the edges, a little over 42 inches wide and 29 inches tall, which is probably, uh, you know, that's going to be a pretty good size painting if you're talking about painting on canvases. All right, now I've got the projector nine foot away from the screen. As you can see, that pretty much will fill up the entire four foot height and even wider than the five foot of the canvas. Um, most people don't have rooms that are much larger, give them much more room to get away from the wall than, you know, that nine foot to project an even larger image. I'd also like to point out, this is a photo of one of the paintings that I've done. Some of you guys have probably seen the tutorial. Those of you who are not, I have a tutorial of me painting this cat. When you're using a projector like this, I've got it back to a smaller image. If I scale that image down to get the size I need, I could get a usable image. So let's say I wanted to do an 18 by 24. You got it. All right, so if I wanted to get the image smaller, what I would have to do is crop that image down and take up less of the space of the projector and the screen. And what happens when you do that, you lose pixels. As you shrink the image inside, you're still gonna project the same size box because that's the smallest size box that you can actually project with that throw on that projector. So when you do that, you lose a lot of pixels. So if you cut that in half, you're going from 10.8 or from 720p, it would be 360p, so you'd have even less resolution than a 480p projector. Another issue, if you tried using a projector, you probably have this issue. Oh, wait, I'm in, I'm in the way. You have to learn to stand to the side and draw from this direction if you want to get your proportions in with a projector. It's a very unnatural way to work. And if you're doing murals and you're painting on the wall, then yes, you have to do that. And you can get accustomed to doing it, but it still can be a problem really quickly. And that is where Pico DLP projectors come in. And there's a lot of reasons that a Pico DLP projector might be your ideal solution. As you can clearly see, I'm projecting into um, complete light in my studio right now. This is as bright as my studio gets when I'm painting. I've got I've got two, three, four lights on in here, one overhead, 3,000 lumen, and this is a 480p, 100 lumen projector is all it is, and I'm broadcasting about 38 inches away from the wall right now. I um, also got this set up. It's got Wi-Fi built in, so what I'm going to do is I press this button here, and I will be able to screen the mirror or mirror the screen of my iOS device. And then once I do that, it will give you a view of my screen. So go here to photos, same picture. I have not 
corrected the color for this currently. Uh, you know, I can change the settings on that so not to get carried away in the color. And the really cool thing is though, is I can take this projector right here and keep getting closer and closer and then I can focus in to as small of an image as I want. As you can see, you can get focus at just about any depth you want. Okay, so now I've stepped back away from it about the same distance as the bigger one was to fill up the image. And of course, it's getting a little bit washed out, so let's turn out the overhead light like I had the other projector. And you can see we get a nice image there. Okay, because this projector is so small and that I can focus in any, you know, from any distance that I want to, I'm able to mount it on an arm like this, a simple phone mount, and come over here and I can scale it in. This is an 11 by 14 canvas and I can scale that right down to an 11 by 14 canvas. I can get my proportion in there and completely adjustable from there. I don't usually set this on this mount. I have a different way of doing that and I'll show you guys in a second. All right, this is about to find a new home in my studio. What this is, you guys may never have seen one, and this is a digital photocopy. It's, in the old days, what they used to do is they would take photographs of copy or pictures that they needed to take pictures of to make reproduction with a camera, mount them on these things, and that way you could stay up perfectly lined up and shot. So the reason that I actually mounted that on there, and I don't have it perfectly set up just right now because I'm just kind of going through this, I wanted to show you guys how, you know, I go from an 18 by 24 canvas at 40 inches tall. You can bring this puppy all the way down to you know, of course, practically, I would never project a five inch by seven inch photograph. But I can if I wanted to. Now, the other thing I would point out that a feature that's really important is that you got different projection modes. Most can be flipped. So this is front ceiling projection, which means that my projector is sitting here facing straight down and I'm able to flip the image so that it projects the image the correct way for me to look at. So by changing the projection to the rear, now I have the camera sitting over from behind my desk. So in the image is projected upright on my desk. I'm sitting in here because I'm so close. I'm sitting here with all my lights on my studio. <laughs> Everything is nice and bright and I can come in here and work comfortably. So anyways, as you can see, I've got actually got my wife in here just sketching out and I'm going to come in closer there and it's going to mess with the white balance. But as you can see, my lights are still on and see how crisp of an image we have because we're so close. And yeah, and then you can just very quickly come through, trace, find the information that you need, which is usually the way I work. All right, so this little guy right here is called the Bankyo Burger. Not delicious. Okay, why do I think these are the ideal solution for artists? Well, one... All that's been done off a of battery. I don't have it plugged into anything. I can hook up to, in this particular case, HDMI, USB stick. I can put photos on a USB stick if I want to. Of course, you've seen me cast my iOS screen. I can also cast an Android screen to this as long as it's on the same Wi-Fi network. Um, and I'm gonna have a full length review on this particular projector in the future very near future and this is what i've gone to but the features that i think are critical that would matter the most to you is one that is dlp this is only 480p and yet the picture i can get on this is better than the picture i can get on the 720p projector the dlp produces a crisper clearer image um, it has a whole lot of features uh, auto keystone correction, which you actually have to turn off to project down. It will work casting up at the ceiling. It will work casting out of the wall. It will not work casting down. It has many other features, but this is not about this particular projector because there are other similar mini DLP projectors out there, and I will leave you links down for three or four of them 
just this particular one is the one that I wound up All right, with. guys, that's going to be a wrap for today. I am Bill Kennedy with W. Leon Artistry, and I welcome you to my, as you can see, always messy studio. I am a full-time working artist. That is what I do. And, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys got a little bit of something out of this video. Be sure to subscribe and ring the notification bell. And if you want to know more about this projector, I plan on doing a thorough review on it in the next week. So that'll be coming up in the future. But uh, once again, we appreciate y'all for stopping by here. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. All that good stuff. Y'all have a good one.